I'm so sure she would be home, you know. Hmm. For once, your precious roommate decides to use the night judiciously. Well, I guess I have to wait till morning then to know how this stuff got in here. Oh. But uh, I can be so sure it's my dad. Oh, the shame. Oh. And I thought I'll be taking out. How? Oh. Well, I'm very happy to disappoint you. Now, go to your room. Oh, what a shame. Just when you need her the most, she suddenly turns into a bookworm. You know, I just can't picture her reading at night, you know. It's, um, hard. Ego. Yeah? Go to your room. All right, then. I quickly have pretty nights. Um, when she comes, tell ah, her that. All nice. right. The first time I saw you. Oh, I must shower. You're all I ever wanted. I want to have you by my side. Aha! Mercy, it's high time you got here. What? What the hell did you do to my dad? <gasps> huh? What? What do you mean? I mean that puck. I mean that puck on my table. Somebody must have opened up the door for it. Look, is that a roundabout way of asking me if your dad was here? I know he was here. That puck proves it. 
But why didn't he wait for me? Drop a note. Call me. Or even send an SMS. But how could he have when he met me here and dropped a message with me? Hmm. I thought as much. And you? Where are you coming from dressed like this? And don't tell me you went to study. Of course not. Look, I'm sorry, but I, I got myself an aristo. You did what? did we start to sneak into bed in our own home like common thieves? Honey, you are still awake? Oh yes, I'm awake. Why will I not be? Since you stayed out so late. I mean, you should have called. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. See, it's one of those things. You know, you think we are going to conclude very soon and things keep going on for so long and before you know it, you begin to feel somehow. So is that an excuse? One of those things. Do I get the feeling that you are trying to be evasive or well, that you are trying to hide something? Well, well, I won't be surprised. It is a woman's pastime to be suspicious even when it's not necessary. Since you know that, why heighten my suspicions? Why not come out clean? But you say come out clean as if I have something to hide. Oh, haven't you? What do you mean? I mean, if there was nothing fishy, you wouldn't find it so hard and so difficult to tell me exactly what took you so long to come home. Ah, Chate. Lies come fast and smooth too, you know? Yeah. For liars, have you become one? Of course not. Then tell me exactly what kept you so late. Okay. Now, I want to crave your indulgence. I want to hold this one close to my heart. It's a, a, a pleasant surprise and a big one at that. That's why I don't want to tell you yet. So, please. Okay. But please, next time, call. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What a relief. 
I must really perfect my lying skills fast. Otherwise, I will be in big trouble. Real big trouble. <sighs> Good night, honey. Good night. that but i had to get me one no you didn't how could you do such a thing come on come on dami look at it i can't continue to live like this forever living off others like a parasite and who is complaining you are not Ooh. complaining now and i never ever will i don't even want to give you a chance to complain our relationship the way it is. I, I I don't want it to go the way of others who have helped me in the past. But, but you, I, you don't know what it is like to be humiliated, to be jeered at, to be made fun of by those who are supposedly your friends just because they provide for you. And you think I will do that to you? Is that why you took that stupid step? Look, you may not do it to me. But I don't want to live off schoolmates. It robs me of my dignity, my pride, and I want them back. No, it doesn't. It is making out with rich older men that robs you of that and even more. Dami, please. Don't let us quarrel over this. Please, let me do it my way. You surprise me. Dami, please. Yeah. All right. But for the strength of the bond that binds us together, this would have been the end. Nani, please. Don't do this to me, please. It will kill me. Then drop this whole idea. It's not too late. Drop it, please. Plans at all. 
what plans do we need? Hmm? It is very certain that in the village, I have a place to stay where I cannot be evicted from. Is that all it takes to survive in a village? Just a place to stay? When we get to the village, everything will take care of itself. Ah, uh, uh, just like that? Yeah. No, no. What's going uh, on here? <laughs> My dear child, thank God that you are here right on time. Your father wants to ship us to the village. I have no choice, Mercy. I cannot wait and allow this landlord to throw our things into the streets. Papa, Papa, are things now this bad? Things have always been bad, right? How we survive up till now, I cannot tell. You see? Right now, I cannot continue anymore. Okay, Papa. Okay, I agree with you. We can't continue like this. Thank God, at last, somebody is saying reason. Come on, Mercy. How do you expect us to survive in the village? We will just die before our time, and we don't know how to farm. It, it doesn't take much to farm. Mercy, does that mean <laughs> you are coming with us? Of course not. You cannot go on living like a beggar at school. Of course I'm not living like a beggar anymore, Papa. I now live like a princess. Yes, oh. yes, my dear. Ha. We thank God. We thank God for what uh, her friend, Dami, has been doing to her life. God will bless her. God will not allow her to turn her back on you like others before her. Even if she does, it won't matter anymore. What did you say? I have secured my future. Our future. Secure our future? Yes, Papa. We are moving but not to the village. What? We are moving to a better house than this. But, but how are we? Papa, don't ask questions. Just enjoy it. It's about time. Is it I thought you wanted me? And I swear I do. But I'm afraid. I'm afraid of what? I huh? don't know. The fact is that you are a married man. But Mercy, you know I was married before you lit this fire in me. And now that it is consuming me, you, you, you want to put it out? It's not what I want to do. I swear. I just don't want you to leave me. I would die. I swear I would die if you leave me. Well, you don't mean that, do you? I will kill myself. I swear. Life without you would be meaningless. Breathing air without your scent would suffocate me. Well, but you know what? I, I, I wouldn't want you to leave, but it's just that I'm married. That's why I'm afraid. That's why I can't go the whole hog right now. Then what do you want me to do, Mercy? I don't know. 
But I know what I want. What is it? I don't want to ever lose you. Ever. I am confused here. Really, I don't know what I'm expected to say. I don't. it now I know now I know you don't feel anything for me come on come on come on I do feel something for you shh, shh. I feel something for you something strong enough to to, to want, want to risk the anger of my wife my reputation my home everything just for you hmm? Would you, would you still risk all that after you have slept with me? That wasn't him, right? Oh, Lara, what are you doing out of bed? Couldn't sleep. Mom, what do you think could be happening to Dad? I don't know. Could it be because of another woman? How dare you talk about your father like that? But mom, you, we can't continue like this. No, we won't. Now, go back to bed. You know your father always has a reason for staying out late. Alright, good night mom. Good night, no, mom. So, that will be it then? I don't know. Listen, we can still go back, you know. The room is still there. And it's paid for till tomorrow morning, Mercy. I'm dying to go back. But I cannot because you're not sure what I mean to you. I don't want to be a fling. Mercy, what if I tell you it's not going to be a fling and I sleep with you and turn around immediately and treat you as if it's just a fling? 
Now, is that what you want? If you did that, I will kill myself. Like I said earlier. So, it's good night then. Sadly so. I'll always love you, Dayo. Can I call you that? But she just did. But, but of course I would have preferred it under a totally different circumstance. I would always love you. I would always long for you. For your warm embrace. For the sweetest loving that I mean never know. But would, would only now dream about. My longing for you would never cease. Never. I tell you to always lock this door in the manner that I can still use my own key to come in. Stop booting this door from behind. Good morning, Dai. Is that the answer to my complaint? Well, we didn't know you were coming back tonight. Well, I came back, didn't I? Or can't you see? I can. From where? Another business meeting? or from the embrace of your new woman. Woman, be careful what you wish for, because you might just get it. No, Dayo, I won't. I've never wished for all this. You are the one forcing the situation on me. Dayo, why? Where have I gone wrong? I would not be drawn to this tonight. I have an early hour appointment tomorrow. No, you don't. If it is so, you won't come home this late. Sadie, having forced me to use the doorbell in waking up half of the neighborhood, do you now want to use this to wake up the rest half? Dayo, the children are watching. They are suspicious. Dayo, please, think about them and retrace your step that leads to only doom. <laughs> Look at me. Look at me. Do I look like a man who will walk into doom even with my eyes closed? Do I? Give me a break. Good night. This is super story. A life of strife and sorrows. It's a super story. With good food and houses Where the fish drowns Or even die of thirst It's a super story A life of precious stones And good taste 
It's a super story. This is super story. This is super story. Come on, go ahead. Ring, ring, ring. Come on. A life of strife and sorrows. It's a super story. With good food and houses. Where the fish drowns or even die of thirst. Come on. What is happening to me? This is the perfect time to walk away. And I have every reason to. But why can't I seem to walk away? Why? She's my daughter's roommate. Her best friend. She's like a daughter to me. And she wants something that is near impossible. Then why can't I just walk away? Why? This is super story, a life of strife and sorrows. It's a super story of good food and houses, where the fish drowns or even die of thirst. It's a super story. Why is this happening to me? What did I do wrong? Where did I go wrong? Where? Where? How do I get out of this now? How do I get my husband back? How? I know I've got you. I know. I know you want me. I know I have awakened a raw desire in you. You must come to me. You must die of Phillips. Come to me. Parasites. Oh, stop it, Tina, will you? <laughs> Hi, Messi. Hi, lady. Do you care for a drink? Oh, sure. What? You? Buy someone a drink? Oh my god, this is indeed a sight to behold. <laughs> yes, please. We don't mind drinks. <laughs> Waiter! Here. Uh, get the two ladies two bottles of drinks of their choice. Okay. There's a fact of life you have refused to come to terms with Tina. And what would that fact of life be? It is that times change. Even for the worst of us. Times change. You know what? I'm all ears. I'm curious. No, stop it now. What's so this? It's okay, lady. Aloha. No, I won't. Can we at least uh, attempt to have a drink in an atmosphere that will not make our drinks come out of our noses? Can we, please? I'm sure you would love to see that happen to me, Tina, wouldn't you? You're such a good mind reader. That goes to show how long I've come since I left you. You really have come a long way. Even I have to admit that. <laughs> Me from you. Hey, that's a great compliment. 
Uh, but, uh, Mercy, uh, tell me, how did you do it? Oh, that, nothing to it, really. But if you want to learn from it, then you've got to pay for it. There is no free lunch anymore, you know. Not even in Freetown. Waiter! Yes. I'll get you your change. Oh, no, don't worry. You can keep the change. Thank you very much. All right. um, see you later. I'll see you later. Serves you right. That one serves you right. Yeah? Excuse me. Damn, I can't get her out of my mind. Sir? Mr. Frank is here to see you. Oh, please send him in. I'm already in. Oh, Franco, <laughs> how is it? And how is the trip down here? Wonderful. Everything wonderful. And you? Oh, well, honestly, Frank, I, I wish I could say the same about myself. Hey, man, what's wrong? What could be wrong? You've got a wonderful wife. Children whose heads are rightly screwed on their shoulders. And a great business. What more could you want? Shouldn't there be more? Hey man, what are you talking about? Listen, it's better we talk over lunch. Hungry? Great! I am starving. Good. <laughs> Franco! That's your boy. Get out of here! <laughs> you? An old man like you. Now that's how you deceive the young girls, isn't it? They want to be deceived. And who am I to disappoint them? <laughs> Come on, let's go. Oh, right. <laughs> Franco. Oh, yeah. Come on, GD, drop it. It's not possible. But, Mom, it has to be possible. Okay, what do you need it for? To buy something. What thing? But, Mom, must I say it? Yes, you must. We must have to evaluate it first to see whether it's a waste or not. But mom, this is unfair. Look, GD. Just get out of my sight. I have more pressing issues on my mind now. Then I'll wait up for that to come then. Oh, good for you. I wish you the best. I know what that means. It means it's a wasted effort. Oh. Good. You are a smart boy. Mom, but what's happening to dad? He's drifting away. We hardly see him anymore. I don't know. I, I wish to God I knew. I, I wish to God. <laughs> it's okay, Mom. It's okay. Did he? I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done that. But I've done everything I know how to. And look at this. It's okay, Mom. Maybe if you told me, that listens to her.
this is just like a disease I can't seem to put out. I can't embrace it. Yet, I, I seem to desire it even more. It's not a disease. It was a very wrong notion. It's a desire. Yeah, a desire meant to be consummated. Some consummate it satisfactorily within the confines of the matrimony. For others, it takes much more than the confines of matrimony for theirs to be satisfactorily consummated. Daya, it seems we are beginning to fall into the second category. Just like that? Yes. That's the way it happens, always. Just like that. One tiny little spark of flame that is not dealt with quickly turns into a smoldering ember. And before long, a conflagration that consumes the entire being. So, what is the solution? Simple. <laughs> Very simple. Put out the fire. One way or the other, put out the fire. But how? Basically, there are two ways to put out the fire. Put out the fire whichever way or whatever means necessary. Okay. Two. Two. Allow the fire to burn itself out. Well, well Fran, option one is out for me. I don't have the with power to put the fire out anymore. Then allow the fire to burn itself out. Look, Dad, your best bet is to consummate the desire. But that there is a problem. She doesn't want anything, there's no permanent. Oh, then tell her it is permanent. Consummate the desire to your satisfaction. Then I tested those waters. She promised to kill herself. I can't carry that in my conscience, Frank. I can't. <laughs> oh, oh my God. <laughs> ah, you're so naive. Ah, I am. She would never dare. Never. Ah. Are you sure? Ah, of course I am. They love life far too much to take their own. Trust me, I should. Sure you mean it? Oh, take it from an experienced player, man. Is that why you're doing like this? Oh, oh, come on, come on, come on. Come on, eat, drink, and be merry. And, you know, do what you have to do and move on. Nothing will happen. You can take that away. Uh, come on, come on. Take your drink, man. Take, just take your drink. Just, just. Uh -uh. Relax. Take your drinks, man. Come on. to my heart don't care what they think what's important is my future don't care who I hurt are you sure you're comfortable like that <laughs> don't worry I'm used to studying under difficult situations positions and <laughs> don't worry I'm okay it's fine thinking about it I'm the one who should be on the bed you're the one writing a test tomorrow I don't want you falling asleep. Damn me. You don't have to do this. I insist. Come and sit on the chair. So you can study well. All right. I will sit. Uh, everyone's taking me for a fool. They underestimate my strength. They don't even know how hard I am. Or how tough I can be. <laughs> I only want to live a good life. You know, I wasn't going to fall asleep, you know. It's my main course. I can't afford to joke with it. I'm very happy to hear that. 
sorry. <laughs> Hello? Mercy, I'm at the car park. Yes, I'm waiting for you. You know what this means, don't you? Yes, my love, I know. And you have my word. All right. Thank you. Um, thank you very much. I'll be right there now. What? <laughs> What's the meaning of this? What's the meaning of what? I thought nothing was going to move you from that chair. Mm. So I thought too, but I was wrong. <laughs> Are you out of your mind? You have a very important test tomorrow. Your main course are that. And you know what that means? If you fail, it's an extra year. I know that. No, you don't. Tell him not tonight of all night. I'm sorry, I can't. You don't know what this means to me. See, I'm not going to fail this test. Trust me. I can't believe this. I can't believe you're putting your life online for one who is only out there to ruin another young girl's life. He's a special one. When you meet him, you'll realize it. You don't, you don't need him. Missy, you don't need him. Look, Danny, I appreciate what you're trying to do for me. And I also want you to appreciate the fact that this is my life. You don't love me more than me. Look, believe me, Dami. This is in my best interest. I'll see you later. Ciao. Mercy, mercy. Mercy. I feel like flogging this girl. Damn. I wish she was my sister. Wasting time.
could this be at this hour of the night? Mom? Mom? Is everything all right? I mean, no, things are not okay at all. You're crying. What's the matter? <laughs> just, just, what did I do wrong, Dami? Mommy, please calm down and tell me what the problem is. It's your dad, Dami. <laughs> dad? What happened to dad? I... Oh no! Nami, why is this happening to us? Mom, just calm down and tell me what has happened to Dad. His attention has been stolen from us. <laughs> Come on, Mom. <laughs> what are you talking about? Dami, for some time now, he has been coming home very late. And tonight he has not come home yet. Where have I gone wrong? Eh, Dami, where? Mommy, come on. Come on. Just calm down. Just pray that he's not been involved in any unfortunate incidents and that he's safe. The only thing he's involved with now is another woman. Mom, dad is not like that. Was not like that. See, Dami, your dad has turned to something else. to you. Please talk to him. Don't worry, Mom. You'll see that this is all a false alarm. I pray so. What I desire most is that it's a false alarm. And that's what it's going to turn out to be. Just go back to sleep and stop allowing it to bother you unnecessarily. Okay. I'll try. Good night. Good night, Mom. <laughs> I can't believe this. What? Dad? No, no. It's got to be a false alarm. It just has to be. That was nice. <laughs> oh yeah, you're pulling my legs, aren't you? Oh, I can't remember when Lester has such a wonderful time. <laughs> you stole the words right out of my mouth. You mean it? Of course I mean it. You were all I dreamt you would be and even much more. Ah, that makes me feel like a superman. Oh, you are a superman. Hasn't she ever told you that? She, she who? I mean your wife. Oh, mercy. Don't bring her in here and spoil her magic moment, will you? Okay. I'm sorry, darling. My Lion King. Mm, Lion King. Ah, I won't like the sound of that better than Superman. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what you are to me, darling. I don't ever want to share you with any other person. Not to worry, you won't have to share me. Even with my wife, you only share slightly. Even that is killing me. I don't want that. With her in the picture, I'll always be afraid of losing you. Always. You don't have to be afraid, okay? I can never leave you for her again, okay? The dog never goes back to his vomit. You live in the same house, you sleep on the same bed. Anything can happen. She can even use the influence of the family. You don't have to worry your cute little head about that. I am the family. And I'm assuring you that nothing of such will happen. Listen, what do I have to do to make you believe me? What? The only thing you can do to assure me is that you meet my parents and tell them that your intentions for me are noble. Well, won't they be angry that I am married? An old one at that. Then you will dissolve their fears. Don't tell me you can't handle some simple old folks. All right, all right. I'll be willing to meet with them, okay? You set the time and date, 
and I'll make myself available. Oh, you're so, so adorable. Oh. <laughs> I'm the luckiest woman on the surface of the earth. So what does that make me? Isn't it obvious? My Lion King, of course. Mm, Lion King. See, I can never get tired of hearing you calling me that. And I'll never get tired of calling you that. Because that is what you are to me, and that's what you will always be. Mm, now let me love you all over again. That's why I call you my Lion King. <laughs> <laughs> what did she say to you? What did she do to you? What did she say to you? How did it all begin? Didn't I say whatever she said? Didn't I do whatever she did? sure he is going to come in today? He should be, Miss Dami. He would have contacted me if he wasn't coming. Perhaps you should call him at home so he'll know you're here. I've been trying to call him all morning. The phone appeared to be switched off. I just thought he would be in the office by now. So did I. But you see what has happened? You should still call him so we'll know if you had to go on a business trip. All right. I'll just keep trying to get him. I just thought he would be here by now. That's why I didn't go home. else do I announce that I'm going to work? You came into this house this morning after spending the whole night outside of this house. You took your bath, changed your clothes, announced that you are off to work. No explanation, nothing. Is it proper? Now, what kind of explanation would be okay with you? What kind? Anyone offered is better than none. That is the greatest disrespect that you can show to me, not only as your wife, but as the mother of your children. Are you done? No, I'm not. Now, what else do you want to do? Would you want to flood me for this, my so-called disrespect? It's another woman, right? Another... And do you expect me to deny or confirm that? It's the least you could do. Well, I would do either. Now, why would I want to render your overactive imagination jobless? Why? 
It does not matter whatever they views to be with you. No one can ever, ever love you the way I do. Bewitched? <laughs> I said it! I said it! Your imagination is overactive. Now, if you are done, may I go to work, please? You don't even care if the children are noticing. Good day, Shadi. 